If you stand, shoot him again. That's a big, big, big bodied sucker. 250 pound deer. The 6 8 Western just laid him out. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. This is a blessing right here. My best bow buck today. Best part is my dad sitting there with me. That's what hunting's all about. Look at that band. <laughs> oh, man. No, this is my sixth band, I think, in my life, but I've killed two in two days. Six in my life. The North 40 buck. Oh my god, I should have shot that deer last year. <laughs> I think that's the farthest shot I've ever taken on a buck. <laughs> this is a deer of a lifetime for me. An absolute deer of a lifetime. Wicked Blend from Browning, the ultimate in waterfowl ammunition, featuring the Wicked Wad system, aerodynamically stabilized for greater downrange energy and extra knockdown power. Loaded with precision bismuth and plated steel shot that delivers high energy retention with consistent tight patterns for cleaner kills and easy retrieves. Wicked Blend from Browning, the best there is. just got in this evening. Um, explain to us, it's, first of all, it was awesome just getting here and seeing the animals that we saw here late after a long day of flying. Yeah. But uh, it's how beautiful everything is, it was almost a, a little bit of a surprise. But um, just you. explain to us what, what we are to expect in the coming days. And this is all unexpected, but very, very beautiful, very nice. The whole facility, everything, seeing all the Thank you. Kudu and the Impalas this evening, and hopefully we'll get on them in the morning. Yeah, Eric and me, we try to, to make here a place that everybody will feel like at home. So it's the, the most important thing that we, we want that you feel here, that you, you are at home and you, everything is easy like you are at home. It's the first thing that we, we are expecting. And secondly, for the animal, we try to, um, to make it as easy as possible, but it's still also very difficult to hunt here. So it's not going to be as easy as maybe you was thinking or the image that you have for South Africa because we are in the middle of the mountain, we have a thick bush. So you will have to work very, very hard to find the, the nice kudu that you want, the impala that you want or any other animal.
to take about four shots on that one. <laughs> or five. <laughs> It's a tiny bit more broadside. I'm gonna take it right there. I'm on him. If he raises his head, I'll shoot him. You on him? Yep. Shoot him again. May have been low on that second one. I see his head. Where? Watch your arm, Cole. I see his head still. Well, for now. For now. Thank you, Warren. Well, Thank you, man. <laughs> Paul. Good job, brother. Woo! That was exciting. Bon dia, le land alpha. That was fun. Oui. Good shot. Well, as you can tell, we're not in Louisiana or Texas anymore. <laughs> we're in Africa. All of our first time, Paul, me, Ryan, Joe, Kyle's been here before. He's, he's with uh, Joe and Ryan, two other good buddies of ours, but me and Paul went out this morning. Me and him been rotating just about every day and every hunt. It's only our second day. But, uh, just cut him first out at about 300 yards. Cut him to 260 and then got him about, probably about 225, 240, somewhere in there. And, uh, it is going to be a, a treacherous, treacherous walk. <laughs> I mean, I gotta, I gotta get look at these rocks. So we'll see what happens here in a second. But that was an awesome hunt. Well, it took us about 20 minutes, but we made it. Wasn't as bad as we thought it was gonna be, but we hadn't gone up the, the big hill, leaving where we shot the animal. Patrick and them found him right there. Warren's about to take us to him. First kudu ever, first trip to, to Africa ever. JJ Outfitters, JJ Savaris. It's been an awesome morning. Thanks to Warren and finding that kudu for us. You ready? Let's hit it. Let's go find him. It's been about, really about 20 minutes, 25 minutes of walking, about 15 minutes of sitting, catching our breath. That's for Paul, though. You gotta quit throwing me under the bus. First trip to Africa. First kudu ever. <clears throat> Try to give you a better look at him, if I can. Can you see him at all? A little help here. Yeah. 
All right, I'll just hold him right here. But I tell a story like what we did. Me and Paul got on several kudu yesterday, but not quite mature, and we know how that is back home, man. We don't want to shoot an immature animal. You come all the way over here, you want to shoot a mature animal that you can, that you're happy with. You don't want to settle for something less. You don't want to, we do the same thing with whitetails at home, man. We don't want to shoot a three-year-old or four-year-old in some places that, that, that we don't, that we're not happy with it. We want to grow. And we finally ran up on a mature one and got it done. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, man. Yeah. Is a fine kudu from a JJ Safaris and my man Martin. Well done. Good job. Well done. Yeah, you made a good shot there. That was a very difficult shot in a little shooting window through this brush. If you want to hunt some kudus, this is a place to go. This is a good one. Yeah, beautiful. He's a trophy in my eyes for yeah. dead gum sure. Yeah, it's a beautiful, got a nice wide shape, points coming around forward. Now this is a bull in his prime. Um, you can see he's a beautiful, beautiful bull. Congratulations. He's this awesome. is a stunning, stunning kudu bull. I appreciate it. From western peaks to eastern woods, Browning Ovix is designed to provide optimal concealment at every distance. Browning Ovix is a versatile, multi-seasonal camouflage pattern that adapts to a wide variety of terrain types to break up your outline. From guns to technical apparel, Browning offers a complete system of gear with OVIX to maximize concealment. Shine a little far back because of the angle. Yes, you know, I yes, shot that off the opposite yeah. side. We thought they were gonna come down the road, and uh, Warren snuck back and looked, like the good guy that he is. He said, "No, they're going up the mountain." So we uh, changed a little bit of position, caught them on that trail, and whoo, booyah! And Paula down first, first and Paula, South Africa. Thank you, Cole. Filming. My JJ. Yeah. There was three or so. Four. Yeah. 
two. Four total. Two went over the hill. Yeah. yeah. I can see two. One went up. There's only three now. Woo! <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about Impalas, but I know that since I've been here at my JJ for two days, I've seen about 25 rams. And this is probably the biggest one I've seen. So it doesn't matter if he's SCI, Boone Crockett, whatever. He's big enough for me. And thank you, Warren, man. You the man. Thank you, Cole. Cole behind the camera, he killed a, a monster, beautiful kudu this morning. And this afternoon was we were chasing impalas or neolas or anything else big and mature that stepped out. The hunting's been wonderful, the hospitality's been wonderful. But my JJ African Safari is you, you can't beat it. If you're an American whitetail hunter and you've never been to Africa, you need to come do it. I'm gonna fall in love with this place. <laughs> <laughs> Zebras went up on top with the water buck. And they're really sharp. So it's going to be a lot harder to get up there now.
they left one. Shot felt good. Shot felt good. I seen it hit him. Yeah. Well. I tried to put it right there because he was kind of quartered yeah, away. Yes, yes. So I, I feel good about the shot. I seen a little bit of brush rumbling right over there a little ways. Yeah. Oh, he, maybe he's corded up right there and laid down. Yeah. What'd you think when them zebras came up there? <laughs> he said, oh man. Uh, the, oh. Wind, the wind wasn't on our side. The, Zebra definitely weren't helping. The birds weren't helping. No. The heat wasn't helping. The humidity isn't helping. And we did well. I had kind of made my mind up that two zebra rugs would be real nice if the zebras <laughs> messed their still up. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. Away a little bit. Shot him at 100 yards. And then watch the footage. I feel like it's a great shot. He, he jumped Did you watch it back? When I hit him, yeah. he went like this. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it, boy? Huh? Yeah. Where's it? Yeah. Warren, that don't have one in the chamber. Uh, Did you guys go in yet at all? No. Just bare, yeah, well, we went in 10, 10 yards. Okay. And hurt him. Go that way. Come on, come. Where's it? Where's it, boy? Where's it, boy? Where's it, boy? He just got him bait. He's either dead or he's holding him. Here. 